Hello everyone and welcome back to my room. We're actually doing something crazy to the dresser behind me. I don't want to show you yet. I'm going to block it so you can't see it because it's done now. But this is the video of me painting my dresser. Oh my god. So I had the crazy idea to paint my dresser because I saw a bunch of people painting a bunch of things on the internet and I was like, you know what? It's about time I paint my dresser because it's like the biggest thing in my room and my room is like covered with stuff as you guys can see. Like that wall, this wall, that wall, that wall's a window. And then back there, like everything's covered and then I just had a plain white dresser. It was just so, 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 so boring. So I decided to paint my dresser and this is how it went. Normally I never start off the video with no makeup on. I'm just really excited to be doing this thing I'm about to show you guys, so I just want to start the video tonight. I don't want to postpone it because I'm literally going to start it. I don't want you guys to miss the beginning of the process, but today I'm going to be repainting that dresser over there, and it is going to be quite a trip because I am quarantining myself. So what I'm going to be doing is I'm going to be repainting my dresser. This is an idea I've had for quite a little bit of time, but today I'm going to start doing it. I'm definitely not going to finish it in one day or one night, but right now I have my favorite ice cream. This is a red bean mochi ice cream. Um, if you guys have never had it, it's really, really good. I got it at H Mart. And also I went to Michael's today, got a bunch of sticky things that will probably go through more once I actually start painting this. I'm going to be doing a Sailor Moon inspired thing. And if so, let's just get started. This is going to be a long, long process process so let's see how this video turns out so ignore the mess of my room but currently this is what my dresser looks like yes that is a baby picture of me from a long time ago i don't want to talk about it but this is what my dresser looks like right now it's a complete mess on top and under and everything but i'm going to be repainting it so i'm quite excited so i'm sitting here looking at this and i'm thinking i should just freehand it so i guess i'm just gonna freehand sketch it and see how it goes First, I need to sand it. I need to sand it, and I also need to fully clean it because as you can see, there's a really cool sticker right there that I've been trying to peel off and it won't come off. Um, you can see my varsity jacket in the back. Wow, sports. I did sports in high school. Ah, ha, ha. I just sanded this thing, and honestly, it like barely feels any different. I know that it is sanded because I can see that like the lacquer is kind of gone. Oh, <laughs> I just touched the whole thing and that came off on my hand. So I guess I should go and wipe down the whole thing with a Clorox wipe to get rid of all the dust. So I guess I did sand this thing pretty good. I'm just gonna freehand some Sailor Moon stuff on here, obviously with some reference pictures, and go from there. I am so excited. Let's start. <laughs> so I'm about to freehand sketch my idea in pink and we're gonna see how it goes it's really hard because i have to consider these white bars that will be in the way but i think it'll be okay i feel like i can kind of see what i'm doing i don't know how this is gonna go but i have a picture on my ipad and i'm going to just try to oh my god i just realized i need to tape it off i need to tape it off first what am i doing oh my god i need to tape it and i need to prime it <laughs> And here it is. Those are really ugly like paint marks from when I was a kid. And then this is like the residue from a sticker that I'm just too lazy to get off. But I taped off the edges. I'm about to go paint it white. I used some really ugly <laughs> washi tape that I don't really like or use anymore. Okay, so that was the last of the priming. This was actually really, really tiring. Um, I'm mostly just priming because I saw this post that talks about how, you know how when you like, you tape off the edges of things and then you paint over it, a lot of the times the tape doesn't seem to work. So apparently what you're supposed to do to do it correctly is you're supposed to actually prime it first with the color that you, that's the base color and that'll seep uh, under the tape and then whatever you paint over it will not go under the tape. So that's what I did. Ideally, this would be dry already and I could go through and sand off the rough edges, but I think I'm just gonna leave it and it'll be fine. And I, so now it is finally time to actually go through and draw this. So I'm going to get my picture and we're going to do this. I hope I don't mess up my entire dresser. I feel like I wouldn't. Let's off center her a little bit. One of the things I think is really important is just that the face isn't cut off by this. It's okay if like the head is, but I just don't want the face to be. 
feel like something's off already. I'm trying to make this as accurate as possible, but I feel like from all the painting practice I've had at RISD, I just really don't like drawing with pencils before any of the stuff anymore. The head shape I drew is really weird. I think it's turning out okay so far. She's got these little baubles. Oh, this is interesting. It's gonna go through all three of these. And then now from here, I'm gonna improvise a little bit because I don't like the way her hair is. This is looking okay so far, I think. <laughs> I'm gonna go through and sketch out the rest of it, but for now, it's not looking too bad. And this is what I have for tonight. It is currently midnight, so I'm gonna go to sleep now. Hello, it's the next day. I'm feeling gross, but this is what I've been doing. I did the background and I did some clouds, as you can see, but that's pretty much what it looks like right now. So here's a time lapse of me painting because I didn't really feel like filming vlogs out today, but as you can see, I did the skin color and I also did the hair and I tried to just get the general outlines just because of the way I drew it. There's not really any clear guidelines, so it was more important to map those out with the actual paint, but as fun as this was, it was also super tiring because I didn't realize that sitting on the floor for this long for an entire day just like hurts so badly, but I got through a lot, a lot of TV shows and YouTube videos and watched a lot of things. Hi everyone, so I just woke up and the first thing I thought of was uh, working on my drawer, so I'm gonna be doing that yesterday. I didn't really vlog it very well, but if I don't vlog it, I will probably just do a time lapse again because that seems to be working out kind of well, so yeah. Wow, um, I'm drinking this thing. As you guys know, it's my favorite thing to drink when I'm home. Also, I'm a little out of breath from running up the stairs. Oh my god. But I just went to Michael's for some more materials because I've been using really cheap brushes. And I was always like, you know, brushes don't have to be that expensive. But I realized the cheap ones are really cheap for a reason. So you still need some semi-okay brushes. And so I did. I went and got those. It's really sunny outside right now, which is nice because it's 5 p.m. But, you know, day whatever it is of painting this. So let's get it. Let's go. There are so many holes to fill, so I have to keep going through and adding second coats to basically anything. I'm also watching a movie on Disney+. Plus. You can tell that it looks like I'm basically doing nothing, even though this is literally a time lapse of like hours of me painting. But today I focus mainly on the shadows, adding some dimension to stuff, because honestly adding shadows is just so, so important. So I went back and did all of those, and especially adding shadows to the hair just makes such a difference, because now you can actually see like where her head is and stuff. So that was pretty important to do, and I'm glad I finally got that in, because it looks way more finished when you actually have shadows and stuff. But yeah, there's just so many details that you can't even see on camera. Just washed all my brushes. It's the end of the night. It's looking like that. So this is all of the progress that I made today. I don't think I could even point out exactly what I did today. I did the moon staff. I did some more details on the hair. I definitely fixed a lot of the, uh, what are they called? The patchiness because I don't know what's wrong with this paint, but it's just so patchy. And that's what's taking up most of my time is just doing more and more coats. Uh, I did, oh, I started working on the smaller Sailor Scouts that are in the back. So that's pretty much what I started doing. And those are taking equally as long as the main Sailor Moon is taking. So that's why it's so irritating. But yeah, that's the progress for today. Um, it's not even that late yet, but I just don't feel like doing this anymore. So I'm not going to. I'm going to go lay in bed and play Maple Story. So yeah. Hi, quarantine, whatever day it is. Oh my God, my phone's running out of battery. Currently it looks like this. I feel like it's just not looking any different. Every day I do it, but I swear to God, I am doing it. Today I started working on the individual Sailor Scouts. So they look like that. I have Pepperos. It's gonna get me through the day. So I'm just gonna be working on this for the rest of the day, I guess. I don't like working on it once the sun is gone because I can't see what I'm doing, so yeah. Hello everyone, it's been a few days. I just decided to like stop vlogging because I had nothing else to do, but it's looking like this right now. I have big dreams tonight of actually finishing painting this today, and then tomorrow I'll be able to fully like glaze it and everything, and I think that might be doable. Um, but I only have a little bit left, so this is what it looks like right now, and I'll probably, like, the bulk of this video is gonna be me finishing up this project, because, like, 
me painting it is just kind of boring to watch so like i assume you guys know but yeah hopefully i can finish this today and so yeah after about i think a week and a half of working on this i actually ended up finishing it so here are me adding the finishing touches including outlines and also a lot of sparkles to help kind of break up the space so it's not so linear and painting those is honestly so annoying because it's such a strange shape but i kind of got used to it but yeah i ended up finishing relatively soon sooner than i expected okay so i look like an absolute mess as i have been for the past few days i've been working on this but um it's done being painted because i could theoretically just keep going back and fixing things because there are a lot of mistakes that i know you can't tell from like the distance you're seeing it but if you're up close like a lot of the lines are not clean and the paints take so many layers i don't know why because they're like liquitex heavy body professional acrylics maybe i should have used a different type of paint but this is the type of head so that's what i used and it took so long tomorrow's plans i'm planning to do this tomorrow because first of all it's already like 3 4 p.m so the sun's gonna go down second of all it's been raining the past two days so i've been postponing this part but i'm just gonna explain to you what i'm gonna do now before i actually do it because when i do do it it's very time sensitive so i don't think i'll have a lot of time to be able to explain what i'm gonna do but basically i tested this on a little tile piece and it works so i've been seeing people mix glitter into resin and coating their paintings with it so i figured that's a great way to seal this i'm going to mix glitter into resin i'm going to do a first coat and then i'm going to cure it because it's going to be uv resin so it'll be done like immediately and then after that i'm going to go on and put on these little gem guys and then i'm going to put a final layer of resin over everything and that will set everything i only have three bottles of uv resin so i really hope that's enough but i don't want to make it too thick on this because that would like not be what i want to do like i said though i have all of these gems i have so many i don't think i actually went through the ones i had with you guys so i'll just go through and show you guys what i have to put on it so i have these for each sailor scout so i have green yellow what color is this? purple pink and blue so i have that for each of the sailor scouts on here so that they can each have like their own colors around them i have this giant thing of a bunch of them most of if not all of the ones I, I think all of the ones i got are iridescent except for very few of them because i liked the way they looked and i thought it went well with the theme and very rarely do like iridescent rhinestones look good on things so this is like one of the only times i got these organic shaped ones that i'm so excited about because i think those are gonna look great i'm gonna put one right on her crown it's gonna look so good oh my god i have these heart ones these are just little pink heart ones and then i have some white heart ones or clear heart ones and then i also have some clear star ones these ones are really little but i think the little ones will add like nice subtlety and then these are just two that i had left over from stuff that i've made uh, so this is pink and this is clear with i guess the two random pink ones on there for some reason and then after that i just have these star stickers that i'm going to put on now because i want this to be under the first coating so that it adds some dimension so i'm just gonna put these but yeah i also have these flakes that i don't know if i'm gonna use i might put a few into the resin tomorrow i'm really nervous about the resin casting but i feel like it'll be okay just because i've worked with uv resin a lot now just not on this big of a scale the biggest scale has been like like this big or something i'm just gonna go and open these so these ones are iridescent these ones are colored and iridescent ish kind of i'm gonna go through and put ooh, some stickers i'm so excited wow so here's the first sheet i'm gonna go through and put these on not sparingly because this is not a project based on subtlety okay let's not pretend that anything's gonna clash because this thing is already huge so let's just like throw that out the window so this is the best angle i can get for you guys but here they are so i'm mostly gonna actually focus on well i'm gonna test one so i'll just put one here okay yeah they totally stick i i didn't think there was gonna be an issue with them sticking i just wanted to you know be sure i'm mainly gonna focus on putting these near imperfections not really for decorative purpose i mean obviously they are for decorative purposes but i'd first like to go through and make sure that like I can neaten up some of the areas because sometimes if you just have something you can stick over like somewhere you messed up it just makes the whole thing look a lot better and also where like the paint is like making puddles for some reason but i'm also going to obviously add these as decoration so i'm gonna put a lot around this 
chic area but i'm gonna put the little ones here oh my god these are these are so cute i love these i wanted to show you guys a close-up of what i mean like some of these areas are not the most opaque as you can tell but you know you could just add a star there should i add a star there i don't know if i'll add one there because it's literally in the eye but you know some areas like here you can see there's like paint separation if you just like add that it kind of like makes it a little better in my mind at least i might be totally wrong about this like right here you can see there's some paint that's been messed up i didn't feel like covering it by adding like a 17th million sparkle so i can just put a star over that just cover your imperfections with stickers you know that's probably one of the best ways to go about life <laughs> that connection is kind of like not the best so i'm just going to put a sticker over that to hide it and now it doesn't you wouldn't even be able to sell so yeah so i'm gonna go through and do and as you can see i added a few here and i already love the way it looks life update uh just redid my nails so if you see me with a new set tomorrow while finishing my drawers that's why there's little clouds on them very cute i'm currently chilling in bed as you can see there's my lacuma my baby i am going to take the tape off i'm quite excited uh, i'm basically done painting all of it and I've put on most of the stickers that I want to put on. After my first coat, like I said, I'm going to put on the rhinestones. So hopefully this all goes well tomorrow. I'm kind of scared that it won't, but I feel like it should. I'm just going to, you know, do nothing all night because of spring break. And I will see you guys tomorrow and finish up this project. And I am very scared. But here's some very mesmerizing clips of me taking the tape off because it's just absolutely wonderful. Oh my god. Okay, here we go. So here's what it's looking like. The lighting is currently coming from over there, <laughs> over my head, so you can see like, you can see my shadow. But let's take some of this tape off. Oh my god, I'm basically just gonna take this stuff off so that tomorrow morning, I can just get this all done. You guys can see, oh, that sticker's coming off, which is why you need to seal it. But let's take this tape off. Oh my gosh. Okay, I'm trying to show you without like a my shadow literally being in it, but I just tried something new and it actually made this line really, really clean. Cause I could, as you can see here, it got kind of like cut. So I'm gonna try and fix that. We'll see how I end up fixing that. But um, what I do is, I figured this would work. I don't see why this wouldn't work. I just take an X-Acto knife and you just go and you run it along the edge here and then you peel the tape off and it's just completely fine. So if you ever have that problem, One ball of a bunch of tape, an empty tube of white paint, and a half empty pink tube of paint later. Here we are. Now we just wait till tomorrow. Wow, this is really satisfying because I used this thing as a paint palette, so now I can take it off. I have to take an X-Acto, run it along the side, and maybe I'll make this later whenever I have time. It's one of those like kits that you can make something. And now, I just peel it off, and the box is totally clean. And this is all the paint that I use for this project. Goodbye. <laughs> And so now that it is the next day in the morning, like I scheduled, it is time to put UV resin on it. I actually bought like three or four of these bottles, but I just kind of poured out almost an entire bottle into this cup so that I could mix some glitter into it. And this is some extra fine glitter. And honestly, I was a little skeptical because it's not the sparkliest glitter when it comes out of the container, but it actually ended up working out really well, but it made the resin look really foggy. Hello everyone, welcome to my living room. So I am currently mixing the resin in a pour on this guy and I'm gonna use a little bit of this. Don't know how I'm gonna feel about that laying on top of my beautiful painting. I'm only gonna put mostly, first of all, in the smaller pieces. So I'm reaching in the bottom. So I'm only gonna put that many. And so you can kind of see it. I don't know if you can really see it. I'm gonna mix that in. I think I'm worried about air bubbles, but I don't really know if it's that big of a deal right now but i don't know if this is enough glitter or not enough all i know is that there's a bunch of air bubbles so i'm gonna have to let this sit for a while the air bubbles kind of like spread themselves out 
so I don't think it's that big of a concern actually. So I'm just gonna spread a super thin layer all over this using a paintbrush and then I'm gonna take it onto the deck to cure it. Second mini drawer. Hello everyone. Oh my God, I don't even fit in this frame. Can I make myself fit in this frame, please? Okay, so welcome to my kitchen floor. My plan is, I was originally gonna do this in the garage, but I realized there's just such nice lighting on the porch. I'm gonna try to do these heavier pieces on the porch too. Don't know how that's gonna go, but we will figure it out. Still doing this first coat and it looks really gross. <laughs> not gonna lie looks really gross inside because of the glitter but when you take it out into the sun it shines so beautifully so i'm quite pleased about it but i just have to go and cover every spot and it's okay if i miss any i'm like pretty sure that i'm not missing any it's okay if i do because there's going to be a second coat after this i get to put on my rhinestones that I've been waiting so long for. Coming gel, do you see that? That's from little bits of light getting inside from outside and hitting the resin. Just going through, doing this. This is the best part. Um, when I was taking these out, I was a little scared that I might not be able to put them back in my dresser because it seems a little complicated. I think I can figure it out probably if I <laughs> try hard enough and get my dad to help me. So. Yeah, but also this is taking less resin than I thought it would, which is good. I might have actually mixed up too much of this glitter resin. I thought I'd need way more, but I guess a bottle of this stuff goes a long, long way. So I'm quite pleased about that. This is so satisfying. I'll show you guys what they look like in the sun because they're like amazing. Also, it's so warm out today. I really wish I could go outside, but you know, quarantine life i can't here they are outside so pretty can you see how sparkly they are i don't know if it really comes off on camera because i honestly can't see because it's so bright out here but here they all are beautiful now it's time to use all of these i'm so excited and so here is the process of finally putting on the rhinestones after the first layer of resin cured outside on the porch so here are all the little glitter guys that i have and my process was I would put a glob of UV resin on top of all the rhinestones just to make sure that they're sealed in there so they don't really catch on anything because this is going to be the final layer and this layer used up so much resin. But I put one on her crown like I said I would and then I poured all the resin over the drawers and tried to coat them as evenly as possible. So yeah. Here they all are after I put the diamonds on everything and it's super smooth now. The surface is so smooth, so satisfying. And so now they're done. I just have to go and move them back up into my room and put them on my dresser and they feel so good. And so after I finished doing everything, the UV resin part was honestly a trip. It took so long to do, much longer than I thought. It took a whole day. But you know, honestly, it was so worth it because once I was done, it's so glittery and pretty. And like, look at it behind me. Here, let me shine. Let me shine my light on it because it's shined on me currently. Do you see how beautiful it is? Like, I love it. This is how it ended up looking. So I am so happy with it. And yeah, it honestly took so long, but it was so worth it. So thank you guys for following me on this journey. I hope this was interesting. This is honestly one of the like most interesting videos I filmed just because it was such a big project that I've never done before. And also I'll get detail shots for you guys because there's so many rhinestones and like so many details. Put a bunch of Sailor Scouts in there. It was just so much work, but it was so, I want to say fun, but honestly the only fun part is looking at it at the end. Like the beginning part is not that fun. I am so pleased. But with that being said, thank you guys so much for hanging out with me for watching my video and for hanging out with me during this super long project that took me so 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 long. I really appreciate you guys and thank you guys for sticking with me during quarantine. I know quarantine sucks. If you guys are bored, paint your dresser and then tag me in it because I would love to see what you guys do. For more pictures, I will post this on my Instagram and so follow me there. There it is, Instagram, Snapchat, also my Etsy. And I will see you guys later. So stay hydrated, take a nap, and I will see you when I see you. Bye.